downloadable content. Microtransactions. DRM. The order DLC. This lot of content. Blind. Stupid fucking fanboyism. What's up, gamers? Welcome to Gamer Rant. Let's talk about Elder Scrolls Blades. Now, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. For any gamers out there, um, I don't think when Bethesda announced this game, any of us really had any high expectations. We pretty much expected it was going to be your average microtransaction um, bullshit mobile game. Um, I will inherently say the following, though. Um, I have no respect for Todd Howard. N no respect uh, whatsoever. Um, it is under my opinion that uh, Bethesda needs new management or whatever his position is. They need to terminate him and find someone that isn't going to continuously lie for the sake of putting money in his pocket. Um, you only disrespect yourself. You only disrespect the company that you work for. And furthermore, you're only continuously disrespecting your fan base by allowing Todd Howard to continue to work at Bethesda and to continue to lie through his teeth on video about the contents of a game. In the particularness of this mobile game known as The Elder Scrolls Blades, which again, it's a mobile game, so no one had high expectations for it. But Todd Howard did say that this was going to be like anything we haven't seen before. And yet, the reality of it is, the facts, the truth, because, you know, I can be more honest than Todd Howard, <clears throat> is that we've seen it before. In fact, the very play style that is found within uh, Blades, you can find on Facebook. Um, because this is what we call uh, the wait to game. That's what it is. Wait to game. You have to wait in order to play the game. You have to wait in order to enjoy the game. Or you could use the microtransactions to get rid of the timer. This is a play model from Facebook. Um, out of all games in the entire world, I do not consider Facebook games video games. I do not. I do not care about definitions or anything of that nature. Um, they are not video games. And in my opinion, they are not entertaining. And because Candy Crush originated on Facebook, it is a piece of shit game. It is a play to win game. Or excuse me, a pay to win game. Just like a good majority of the games found on Facebook. And it's really disgraceful that this play model from Facebook found its way to the mobile game. And it's even more disgraceful that... A respected company such as Bethesda would lower itself to the level of developers for Facebook games. <clears throat> Todd Howard has inherently lied about many things throughout his, ironically, his career at Bethesda. He's laid claims for certain things, and those things were never happened, or they were completely different. We have seen what is the ultimate outcome of an individual that works at a developing company and continuously lies for the sole purpose of trying to put money in his pocket without any regard to the quality of the product that the company is making. Um, I would even go as far as to say the thoughts and opinions of the developers and the graphic artists making it because I highly doubt that it is the developers, programmers, graphic artists, and writers coming up with these uh, idiotic ideas. Bethesda ultimately pro proved, has proven with Fallout 76 that clearly they could not manage their way out of a paper bag. 
And unfortunately for the programmers, I would also say they can't program their way out of a paper bag, given how shitty the engine is that they're actually currently using. And granted, I know that may not inherently be a fault of the programmers, just once again, the people in charge. So we ultimately have to ask ourselves, why is it the Elder Scrolls Blades made 500k in microtransactions? This game isn't an Elder Scrolls game, because that's another lie that Todd Howard tried to feed people, that this was going to be like a traditional Elder Scrolls game. Okay, Todd Howard, well, let's play this game for a second. Please tell me where in the Elder Scrolls V, known as Skyrim, all right, where, what happens when I walk up to a smith and I decide to smith a sword? What inherently happens? Does a timer appear that I have to wait for a certain amount of time or I could pay some kind of uh, in-game currency? We'll call it Dragonborn Gems, all right? Because that sounds like some fucking idiotic shit fucking Todd Howard would come up with. So I have to spend Dragonborn Gems in order to make the timer go faster. But in order to get Dragonborn Gems, I got to pay real money to get that in-game currency. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. How about Oblivion? All right. Um, when I want to go enchant a, a weapon, does a timer appear? Uh, how about Arena, Morrowind? I could sit here and I could go on and on and on. You want to sit there and you want to willfully lie, mostly to get people hyped up and so that they actually go and get your game. And you know what? I think it's about time that, well... <clears throat> Like gamers let go of electronic arts for the complete disrespect and misuse of gamers' money, I think it's time we let you go. I think it's time they find a replacement for Todd Howard. He is the cancer of Bethesda Games. And you know, some people might say, well, there's people higher up than him that are making the decisions. And I would ultimately remind people that, you know what, at the end of the day, you're not here to make video games for the investors. Simplicity within of itself. <sighs> I mean, we live in an age of gaming that a big developer like Bethesda can get on the mobile platform and they go full 100% electronic arts. And again, nobody expected high hopes from this mobile game. They knew it was going to have microtransactions. But to use a Facebook model and to ultimately claim that this was going to be something we'd never seen before, which in factuality and honest truth we have, and to lay claim that this was going to be like a traditional Elder Scrolls game. Not only do you insult the writers and the developers that create the game, you just you insult the fan base. You ultimately insult yourself because you can't even be honest with the people that made Bethesda what it is today. Yeah, and I'm not talking about the writers and the developers or the graphic artists or the idiots in charge like you. I'm talking about the real people. They go, they purchase these games, they fall in love with them, they fall in love with the characters. They even fall in love with the company. You know, with Hello Games and Sean Murray, it was uh, one man's lie. Apparently it's only going to take one man to destroy the respect of a company for many gamers. You know what, Todd Howard? If you're so worried about making money, I'm going to make a suggestion to you. Why don't you quit your job and you can go put your application in at Electronic Arts? Given everything that you've ultimately done, they probably would hire you right off the bat. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video in some fashion or form. And remember, gamers, if you're not voicing your thoughts and concerns about the bullshit within gaming, and of course, people like Todd Howard, well, you just might be a part 
of the motherfucking problem.